Okay, so the iPhone 10 versus the Samsung Galaxy S8 and the S8 Plus. Which one of these phones is better? Which one should you guys get? So I've done a similar comparison comparing the iPhone 10 versus the Samsung Galaxy Note 8 and then the iPhone 10 versus the iPhone 8. But now I wanted to see how the iPhone 10 stands up against the S8. So why the S8? Well, the S8 is still a top of the line smartphone. It's the second best one that Samsung sells after the Note 8. And then the S8 also comes with the exact same display size as the iPhone 10, so 5.8 inches. And in this video, I'll be comparing everything you need to know about these two phones. Uh, so everything when it comes to the design, the display, the specs, camera, special features, battery, storage, price, and so, so much more. So yeah, grab some, grab some snacks and enjoy. Okay, so starting off with the design, these two phones are actually pretty similar when it comes to the looks. So both of them have a glass, uh, glass back, and then also both of these phones actually have almost no bezels on the front. So the iPhone X only has the sensor bar cutouts on the top, and the S8 has a bit more bezels on both the top and the bottom, but literally nothing on the sides. Especially since the sides are curved, they give you the impression of this uh, infinity display, which actually looks really, really impressive in person. The frame is made out of polished aluminum, while on the iPhone 10 we get a full stainless steel frame, which by the way is much more scratchable uh, than the stainless steel one on the S8, but it also feels and looks much more premium. Now, if you compare the 5.8 inches S8 versus the iPhone 10, they actually have exactly the same display size. Now, the S8 is indeed a bit taller, and the iPhone 10 is indeed a bit shorter, but wider. But overall, design-wise, I do have to say that I do prefer the way the S8 looks, since you get a much more uniform design, at least when it comes to the bezels. So in the end, it's a matter of preference. Both of these phones definitely stand out from the rest of the competition, so to say, when it comes to the design and the display. Speaking of the display, there are a few differences that I want to mention here. So first off, in terms of the display size, we have 5.8 inches on the iPhone X uh, and still 5.8 inches on the regular S8, but then we also have the S8 Plus, which comes with a 6.2 inches display. Now, when it comes to the resolution, the iPhone X comes with a 24, 36 by 11, 25 resolution display, so higher than on the iPhone 7 and the iPhone 7 Plus. And this one actually translates to a PPI of 458. Now, the S8 and the S8 Plus, they actually come with an even higher resolution display than the iPhone 10. So 2960 by 1440, which actually translates to 567 PPI on the S8 and 530 on the S8 Plus. So uh, both S8 models actually have a sharper display than the iPhone 10. Now, when it comes to the display technology, we finally have an OLED display on the iPhone 10. So OLED on both the iPhone 10 and the S8. Now, when it comes to the display features, there are a couple of things that I wanna mention. So something really interesting is when it comes to the display brightness. So on the iPhone 10, we have 625 nits, which is actually pretty impressive. This is a pretty high brightness considering that we have 500 nits on the MacBook Pros, for example. So higher than on the MacBook Pros, but on the S8, we actually have over a thousand nits, at least according to DisplayMate. So what this means is that the S8's display is almost twice as bright as the iPhone 10's display. So this not only means that it's more visible outdoors, but also colors would look more vibrant since they're, you know, brighter on the S8's display. Also, when it comes to the display features, both of these phones support HDR displays. Now, the iPhone 10 does support HDR10 and Dolby Vision, and the S8 only supports HDR10. Now, this is not necessarily because Samsung's uh, weaker, but Samsung does have its own proprietary HDR standard, so they don't use Dolby Vision on their TVs. So that's why they don't have Dolby Vision. Now, the iPhone 10 also has something called a True Tone Display, which automatically adjusts its color temperature based on the current lighting conditions. So it basically makes the display easier on the eyes. This is something that we have on the 2017 iPad Pros, the 2016 9.7 inches iPad Pro. So it's not really a, an important feature, but it's, you know, one of those features that's nice to have. But for me personally, I don't really care about Dolby Vision on a phone, because if I want to watch a movie, I'll just watch it on my TV. Or if I'm away, I'll just watch it on my laptop, not on my 5.8 inches phone. So for me personally, brightness is the biggest deal here. So in this case, the S8's display does seem to be almost twice as bright as the iPhone X's one. Okay, now moving on to the specs, the iPhone X comes with a brand new Apple 11 Bionic processor. And the S8 and the S8 Plus, they come with the Exynos 8095, so this is for the international market. And then the Snapdragon 835 in the US and China. But basically all you need to know here is that both of these phones are fast. 
But the iPhone 10 is just a monster when it comes to performance. So just to give you an idea, uh, in Geekbench 4, the Exynos 8895 actually scores about 1900 for a single core and about 6300 uh, for the multi-core. Now the iPhone 10, on the other hand, with the Apple 11 chip, it actually scores just over 4100 for the single core, which is just crazy, and over 10,000 in the multi-core. Now this is, this is a ridiculously insane score. Just to give you an idea of how high the score is, it's higher than even the 13-inch 2017 MacBook Pros. And it's really, really close in performance to the i7-7920 HP processor, uh, at least when it comes to the single core score. So in case you don't know, this is the, the processor that you find in the 2017 15-inches MacBook Pro, and it's the flagship, the mobile flagship for Cabby Lake. So this is the most powerful processor, laptop processor that you can find in a laptop from Intel. And the Apple 11 chip inside the iPhone 10 is really, really close to that one when it comes to single core performance, which is crazy. Now, in day-to-day -day use, both of these phones actually feel pretty fast. Now, the S8 did lag on me quite a few times, and this was mostly caused by Bixby running in the background all the time. So if you wish, you can disable Bixby. You can get something like a package disabler, and you can disable Bixby, and you can free up some memory and some CPU. But if you don't know what you're doing, the S8 is indeed going to feel laggy, especially if you're coming from something like an iPhone 7 or an iPhone 8 or not even to mention the iPhone 10. So if you want to have a really fluid experience on your smartphone, and if you do something like photo editing, even video editing, yes, you can do 4K video editing at 60 frames per second on the iPhone 10, by the way. Uh, if you do any of those kind of stuff, and if you play a lot of games, the iPhone is going to be a much, much better option. Now, when it comes to the RAM, the iPhone 10 does come with 3 gigabytes of RAM and the S8 comes with 4 gigabytes of RAM. Same applies to the S8 Plus. But RAM management has always been really, really good on iOS. I've actually done an ultimate speed test comparing the iPhone 7 Plus and the S8 Plus. And the difference is just huge. So if you want to take a look at this video, this is basically how uh, it's going to be with the iPhone 10 versus the S8 Plus when it comes to RAM management, even a bit better on uh, on the iPhone 10. So when it comes to raw performance, fluidity-wise, and also RAM management-wise, the iPhone 10 wins by a long shot here. Okay, so what about the camera? We have quite a few differences here. So in terms of the camera specs, we have 12 megapixel sensors on both, and then in terms of the apertures, we have f1.7 on the S8 and the S8 Plus and f1.8 on the iPhone 10. So the S8 does let a bit more light into the camera. Now, speaking of light and camera, the iPhone 10 has a brand new sensor versus the iPhone 7 and the iPhone 7 Plus. Now, Apple claims that it can actually let up to 83% more light into the camera. And they did show a few photos uh, of the back-facing camera on the iPhone 10. And from what I've seen, it looks the photos look good, but they don't look that much different from the S8 when it comes to uh, low light photography. So they're good, but they're not, you know, outstanding, amazing. Okay, any other differences? Well, quite a few. So the iPhone 10 comes with a dual uh, camera, dual module camera on the back. The S8 only has a single camera module on the back. So with the iPhone 10, you can do 2X optical zoom. You can get those really nice depth effects that you can only get, by the way, on the Samsung Galaxy Note 8, not the S8 and the S8 Plus. But probably the biggest difference when it comes to these cameras is in terms of video. So the iPhone 10 can do video, uh, can do video recording in up to 4K, up to 60 frames per second versus 4K 30, which is what we have on the S8. Now this is this is crazy. The iPhone 10 is one of the first phones. Well, it's the first second phone that can do 4K at 60 frames per second, which is really really impressive in a phone. I really want to test and see what the bit rate actually is, uh, but at the moment. The bit rate on the iPhone 7 is higher than the one on the S8. Also, speaking of video, let's talk about slow motion. So the S8 can do 720p at 240 frames per second, which is pretty good. But the iPhone 10 can do 1080p at 240 frames per second. So a pretty big difference here as well. But speaking of differences, let's talk about the front-facing camera because there's a lot of differences between these two phones. So resolution-wise, we have 8 megapixels on the S8 and the S8 Plus versus 7 megapixels on the iPhone 10. Now, when it comes to the aperture, we have f1.7 on the S8 versus f2.2 on the iPhone 10. So the iPhone 10 essentially has the exact same camera on the front as the iPhone 7. So exactly the same, no improvements at all, uh, not even in the sensor. Now, the S8 can do Quad HD video in up to 30 frames per second, and the iPhone 10 can do 1080p video in up to 30 frames per second, and also the S8 has a wider angle on the front-facing camera. So. Yes, the front-facing camera on the S8 is much, much better 
than the iPhone 10 one. So camera wise, the iPhone 10 has a better back facing camera with 4K video at 60, a dual camera module, uh, 2X optical zoom. You also get portrait lighting and lots of features, but the S8 has a better front facing camera. Next up, we have the special features. So these two phones come with a ton of features. I'm not going to cover every single feature of these two phones, I'm only going to cover the differences. So the S8, for example, comes with the microSD card support and it gets support up to 256 of extra storage in case you need it. Then the S8 also comes with a headphone jack, it also comes with VR support so you can get something like the Gear VR which the iPhone the iPhone 10 Apple doesn't sell any first party VR headset which is a bit disappointing so hopefully at some point in the future we'll see something like this. Then the S8 also comes with USB-C as a USB-C port which the iPhone 10 doesn't so yeah, with the iPhone 10, you still have to use the lightning port. So if you want to connect it to a MacBook, you cannot really do that. You have to buy an adapter. Whereas the S8 connects directly to Apple's MacBooks, which is pretty funny. Also, better water resistance on the S8, so IP68 versus IP67. And then we also have a heart rate and an oxygen level meter on the back, which is especially the oxygen level meter. That's pretty useful to have. You don't even have that on an Apple Watch, for example, at least it's not enabled. Other than that, we also have an iris scanner on the S8, which the iPhone 10 doesn't. It has something a bit different, which I'm going to cover in a second, but no iris scanner on the iPhone 10. And then on the S8, we also have an always on display. Now, the iPhone 10. So the iPhone 10 comes with dual stereo speakers. These speakers are amazing compared to uh, the S8 one. Now, the iPhone 10 also comes with face ID. So we have depth sensors on the front with advanced facial recognition. Uh, with face unlock and then you also have an emojis so animated emojis that you can actually control with your facial expression So these are pretty cool. We also have tap to wake on the iPhone 10 and then we also have 3D touch so a pressure sensitive display uh, Which doesn't actually work on the S8. So I mean on the S8 we have a pressure sensitive home button area So on the bottom of the phone, but we don't have a full 3D touch display on the entire display area Like we do on the iPhone 10. Next up. Let's talk about the battery size and the battery life so we have 2700, about a 2700 million parts battery on the iPhone 10, and on the S8 we have 3000 million parts and 3500 on the S8 Plus because you know it's a larger device. So the S8 and the S8 Plus should last you longer than the iPhone 10. Moving on to the storage options, we have 64 gigabytes as the baseline and the only option on the S8 and the S8 Plus, but they also support microSD card, a microSD card up to 256 of extra gigabytes in case you need that storage. Now on the iPhone 10 we have 64 and 256, but we have no option to expand that uh, storage further with a microSD card. Now keep in mind that a microSD card is much much slower than uh, internal storage. So a 256 SD card is nowhere near the equivalent of a 256 internal storage on a uh, phone. So de definitely keep this in mind. But probably the biggest difference between these two is the actual price. So the S8 starts at $720 in US or 690 pounds and then the S8 Plus starts at $840 or 780 pounds which is pretty expensive but the iPhone 10 starts at $1000 or 1000 pounds because yes one to one conversion ratio uh, why not so the iPhone 10 is almost 1.5 times more expensive than the regular S8 at least in the UK and by the way in Europe it's even more expensive than that so the S8 is expensive but the iPhone 10 is just crazy crazily overpriced. Okay, so in the end, which one of these phones is a better deal? Well, the S8, with the S8 you're getting a brighter display, you're also getting two size options, so 5.8 inches and 6.2 inches, you're also getting a better front-facing camera, uh, a larger battery, and also the possibility to expand your storage even further with a micro SD card, which even if it's slower, way slower than the iPhone's internal storage, at least you get this option. So if you wanna take a lot of photos and videos, you can, you know, you get this option. The iPhone 10, however, is a much more powerful phone. Uh, it also comes with a more bezel-less design, so to say. We also get advanced facial recognition capabilities, uh, what else, Face ID, uh, a dual camera module on the back with a couple of more features, including 4K video, uh, the dual camera module and the deaf effects and everything, better speakers and 3D touch. So yes, the iPhone 10 is overall a better phone. But should you actually get the iPhone 10 over the S8? I would say no. It's it's crazy expensive. It's way more expensive than the S8. I mean, for the price of an iPhone 10, 
you could, you know, build a powerful PC. You can even build, build a PC with a GTX 1080 and a 7700K processor. Uh, and yes, the iPhone 10 is actually more expensive than that. So I would say that a thousand pounds or even, even 1400 pounds, if you get the 256 gig option uh, with Apple Care, it's, it's just too much to pay for a phone. That's what I would say. So in that case, I would say don't get the iPhone 10 but don't get the S8 either because the S9 is coming out pretty soon. So if you're an iPhone type of person, just wait until next year, until uh, the iPhone 10 gets cheaper. And by the way, next year, Apple will be releasing two OLED iPhones. At least this is what the rumors are saying. So two OLED iPhones in 2018 and the prices should be cheaper than the iPhone 10. So either wait until next year if you want to pick up an iPhone or you should get the S9, which is coming out in just a few months. And by the way, the S9 is going to come with a lot of features that the iPhone 10 already has. So 4K video at 60 frames per second, that's coming with the S9, advanced facial recognition, and also the possibility of having a fingerprint reader embedded into the display assembly. This is also rumored to come. So yeah, let me know in the comments which one of these phones would you actually pick and why. And what do you guys personally think about these two phones? Is any of these worth it right now? The S8, even if the S9 is coming soon, and the iPhone 10, even if it's way, way, way too, uh, too expensive and overpriced. Other than that, feel free to subscribe if you want to see more videos, more in-depth comparisons like this one. And also don't forget to enable notifications by simply tapping on that bell icon so that you're notified whenever I upload a brand new epic video. Let me know in the comments if you made it until the end. And other than that, feel free to give this video a like if you enjoyed it to let me know. And yeah, this has been pretty much it. So thank you